Dear learners today, I am going to discuss the topic questionnaire its types, merits, and demerits. Let us first try to understand what is questionnaire. A questionnaire is a research instrument consisting of a series of questions or prompts designed to collect information, data, opinions, or feedback from individuals or groups of people. It is a standardized way of collecting data from a large number of people by asking them a series of questions related to a specific topic or research objective. Questionnaires are widely used in various fields, including research, surveys, social sciences, education, market research, and more. They provide a structured and systematic way to gather data from respondents, allowing researchers or organizations to gain insights make informed decisions, and draw conclusions based on the collected responses. Key Characteristics of Questionnaires 1. Structured Format Questionnaires are typically structured, with questions presented in a predetermined order. This structure helps ensure consistency in data collection and analysis. 2. Closed-ended and open-ended questions Questionnaires can include closed-ended questions, where respondents select from predefined response options, example, multiple choice or Likert scale questions, and open ended questions, where respondents provide free text responses. 3. Quantitative and qualitative data. Depending on the questions included, questionnaires can yield quantitative data, numerical and measurable, or qualitative data, narrative, descriptive. 4. Standardization. Questionnaires are standardized instruments, meaning that all respondents receive the same set of questions in the same format. This standardization allows for comparisons and statistical analysis. 5. Objective and subjective data. Questionnaires can collect both objective data, factual information, and subjective data, personal opinions, beliefs, feelings. 6. Self-administered or administered by interviewers. Respondents can complete questionnaires independently, self-administered, or with the assistance of interviewers who read and record responses. 7. Various uses. Questionnaires serve a wide range of purposes, including assessing knowledge, attitudes, behaviors, preferences, demographics, and more. Questionnaires can be administered in various formats, including paper-based surveys, online surveys, telephone interviews, face-to-face -face interviews, and mail-in surveys. They are a versatile tool for collecting data and are frequently used in academic research, public opinion polling, marketing research, social sciences, healthcare, and other fields to gather information from a large and diverse sample of respondents. Let me now discuss types of questionnaires. Some common types of questionnaires used in research and education are 1. Structured Questionnaire Close-Ended Questionnaire These questionnaires consist of closed-ended questions with predetermined response options. They are used to gather quantitative data and are suitable for statistical analysis. Examples include surveys with multiple-choice questions or Likert scale items. 2. Unstructured Questionnaire Open-Ended Questionnaire Unstructured questionnaires contain open-ended questions that allow participants to provide detailed, qualitative responses. Researchers use them to gather in-depth insights and opinions, often in exploratory or qualitative research. 3. Semi-structured questionnaire. Semi-structured questionnaires combine closed-ended questions with open-ended ones. They offer some flexibility for participants to elaborate on their responses while still allowing for quantitative analysis of certain aspects. Types of questions in questionnaire The types of questions in questionnaire are as follows. 1. Multiple choice questions These questions have several options for participants to choose from. They are useful for getting quantitative data and can be used to collect demographic information. Example, what is your favorite color? A. Red B. Blue C. Green D. Yellow 2. Rating scale questions These questions ask participants to rate something on a scale, e.g. from 1 to 10. They are useful for measuring attitudes and opinions. Example, on a scale of 1 to 10, 
How likely are you to recommend this product to a friend? 3. Open-ended questions These questions allow participants to answer in their own words and provide more in-depth and detailed responses. They are useful for getting qualitative data. Example, what do you think are the biggest challenges facing your community? 3. Likert scale questions These questions ask participants to rate how much they agree or disagree with a statement. They are useful for measuring attitudes and opinions. Example, how strongly do you agree or disagree with the following statement? I enjoy exercising regularly. A. Strongly agree B. Agree C. Neither agree nor disagree D. Disagree E. Strongly disagree. 4. Demographic questions These questions ask about the participant's personal information such as age, gender, ethnicity, education level, etc. They are useful for segmenting the data and analyzing results by demographic groups. Example, have you ever traveled outside of your home country? Yes, no. Merits, advantages of questionnaires. 1. Standardization. Questionnaires allow for standardized data collection, ensuring that each participant receives the same questions in the same format. This helps minimize bias and maintain consistency in responses. 2. Efficiency. Questionnaires are an efficient way to collect data from a large number of participants simultaneously. This makes them particularly useful for surveys with a broad target population. 3. Anonymity. Respondents can answer questionnaires anonymously, which can encourage honest and candid responses, especially on sensitive topics. 4. Ease of analysis. Data from questionnaires are typically structured, making it easier to analyze and quantify responses. This facilitates statistical analysis and comparisons. 5. Cost-effective. Compared to other data collection methods, such as interviews or focus groups, questionnaires are often more cost-effective, especially when distributed electronically. 6. Accessibility. Questionnaires can be administered in various formats, including paper, online, or through email, making them accessible to a wide range of participants. 7. Large sample size. Questionnaires can be distributed to a large number of participants, allowing for a larger sample size, which can improve the generalizability of findings. 8. Structured data. Questionnaires provide structured data, making it easier to quantify responses and perform statistical analysis, which is valuable for many types of research. Demerits, disadvantages of questionnaires 1. Limited depth. Questionnaires often lack the depth of information that can be obtained through interviews or qualitative methods. Closed-ended questions may not capture nuanced or detailed responses. 2. Non-response bias. Some participants may choose not to complete the questionnaire, leading to non-response bias if those who respond differ systematically from those who do not. 3. Limited context. Questionnaires may not capture the context of responses, making it challenging to understand the why behind certain answers. 4. Question wording bias. Poorly worded or leading questions can introduce bias into responses. Care must be taken to ensure clarity and neutrality in wording. 5. Response bias. Participants may provide socially desirable or biased responses, especially in situations where they fear judgment or reprisal. 6. Limited flexibility. Questionnaires are typically inflexible in terms of follow-up questions or probing for more information. This limits the ability to explore unexpected responses. 7. Low response rates. In some cases, especially with online surveys, low response rates can be a challenge, impacting the representativeness of the sample. 8. Cultural and language barriers. When administered to diverse populations, questionnaires may encounter language and cultural barriers, affecting the quality and accuracy of responses. Thank you. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel Education and Teacher Education at Shokin Bilal.